What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Friday, July 19th. In today's video, we're going to be talking about DOG, some recent developments that have happened within the Rune ecosystem, how they ultimately affect DOG. Also, we're seeing a pump in Bitcoin's price. How is DOG performing against Bitcoin? And also, at the very end of the video, we want to share with you what's going on with the whale wallets, the top 100 whale wallets. Are they dumping? or are they accumulating? So with that said, before we begin, let's go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So overnight, we actually saw some crazy volatile price action with the dog rune token. We went as far and low as 370 million market cap. That is absolutely insane. This is what we call shakeouts. Now, this is very turbulent times because over the past seven days, we're actually down 1.28%. Remember, only 1.28% because seven days ago, we we're right here. And so we went up to the upside and then we went to the downside. So people are getting shaken out left and right. And this is why we say do not pay attention to the charts in an emotional way. If you just held with the dog rune token in your portfolio, you wouldn't even have to worry about the price going up or down in value. If you just hold or dollar cost average on the dips, you'd be completely fine. So over the past seven days, nothing's really changed. Now, the token price is right now with a market cap of 423 million. Now let's look at Bitcoin's price because Bitcoin has decided to pump. Now, whatever happens to Bitcoin, happens to gaming altcoins, meme coins, whatever you can call it, AI coins, they ultimately reflect harder than Bitcoin itself. But what's really strange is that over the past seven days, what's really strange is that with the dog rune token in the top coin market cap meme coins, it hasn't really moved much over the past seven days. In fact, if you look at the top 10 meme coins over the past seven days, many have moved 50% higher, 34% higher, 22% higher, 38% higher. But for some reason, dog rune token hasn't moved at all. I think it's because the dog rune token is built on runes, which is built on Bitcoin, which means that there isn't a media AMM rune swapping tool. And also there's not any centralized exchange listings. All these other ones that are built on Ethereum, BNB, Solana, and also Base, they all have access to all those certain things. That's why you're seeing a lot more momentum with these different meme coins. So still, for the fact that the dog rune token is even holding at the top 10 ranking spot is absolutely huge because this is community based. This is all community that's keeping this token pumped as of right now. When we look at DAW compared to Bitcoin's price, and as you can see here, remember when we went down to around 370 million? Well, we're right back up with the trajectory of Bitcoin. Whatever happens to Bitcoin ultimately affects DOG. So DOG is being shaken up left and right and center. And this is kind of showing you how your conviction is within the specific token. Because if you're a panic selling, you would have sold down here and you would have lost those specific gains if you just held on. So the best strategy for most people is to either hodl or hold on for dear life or dollar cost average. A lot of these people aren't really selling. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Now, when we look at what's been happening, Apparently for the past two months, Magic Eden just made a report yesterday that Dog Go to the Moon has made the most transaction volume and the most trades within its own platform. So both in July and in June of 2024, Dog Go to the Moon is number one, but that's not by a small margin, by a huge margin. So over those past two months, roughly over a thousand Bitcoin was traded in and out. So buying and selling. So that's $67 million in trading volume that's happening back and forth. Now people are gonna pay attention to that volume because what exchanges do, they like to see not only community demand, but they need to see the market demand as well. How much is the market demanding for this specific coin without a centralized exchange listing? It's really big. This is a lot of trading volume compared to most meme coins out there that don't have a centralized exchange listing. Now, another thing I wanna share with Magic Eden is that Magic Eden is developing what they're doing at the forefront of things different integrations within the Rune ecosystem. So say for instance, they created something with the first platform to mint Rune. So this is in regards to decentralize. 
So basically people can pay with runes to mint a specific ordinal. So that's what we saw recently. And then they also added activity feed. So you can see who's selling, canceling orders or buying. And then also real-time activities with ordinals, so forth, so on. But they are, I think right now, doing the greatest job integrating their Magic Eden wallet. And they're also probably going to be the first ones to integrate the Magic Eden swap tool. What does that mean? Well, if you go over to Dog Go to the Moon on Magic Eden, I'm referring to this, the swap tool. Now, this is not released yet. And I think what's really interesting is that Magic Eden develops things much faster than most people. Their developers are absolutely the best because Magic Eden covers Ethereum, Polygon, Base, Bitcoin, Solana, all those different blockchains under one platform. The fact that they haven't developed a swap just goes to show how hard it is at the very moment and how early we are for developers creating the tools necessary to swap instantly your Bitcoin for DOG and from DOG to Bitcoin or any rune to Bitcoin or Bitcoin to rune. They haven't actually created that just yet. But once this does go live, it's gonna be a huge game changer because a lot of people don't wanna buy things in bulk. They wanna buy things at any amount. If it's a dollar, $5, 100, 500, 500,000, whatever it may be, that's what they could do to use for the swapping tool. And that's why it's really important. Another thing I wanna share with you is what people think the rune will be listed first on Binance. And obviously a majority of you, 951 votes, say Dog Go to the Moon is gonna be the first one listed. It's a no brainer to me as well. And also just breaking news, if you don't know, there's going to be a Bitcoin conference in Nashville. Now this trailer was just released by one of the founders of Bitcoin Wales. His team created the actual trailer, the animation for this event. And if you fast forward in the video, you'll see that in the stands, there's a character on the left-hand side and it's none other than Dog to the Moon. So the fact that this specific meme coin is one of very few meme coins that are listed in this trailer getting star recognition goes to show that right now Dog is being compared to the top ordinal collections, but also represents the whole rune, Bitcoin, and ordinal section in itself. So people see this figure as a leading figure within this innovative area within Bitcoin. Okay, so that's really awesome to see. Now the nook and cranny, let's go ahead and talk about the whale wallets. So you're wondering, are the whales dumping or accumulating? Dog BTC, which I just love this person, by the way, updates everybody on the top wallets in terms of the 100 wallets specifically. Now, what they notice is that all of the 100 wallets are actually accumulating. They were the ones that bought the dip. In fact, in total, they roughly accumulate around 114 million. That's crazy in terms of dog tokens. Now, the wallet that I want you to pay attention to is this one right here. Apparently, wallet number two came out of nowhere and accumulated 85 million dog tokens. Now people in the comments are wondering, what is that account? Who is number two? And some people are actually speculating that it isn't just like some retail investor, that possibly it could be an exchange. So people are thinking that this is an exchange that's accumulating these specific dog rune tokens and it's not been made public yet. But that is just a theory, okay? so. Share with me in your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on what that number two whale wallet is. But nonetheless, we look at wallets like number 12, up 13 million. We also have Coinex, up 7 million. It's just adding up. They're buying all the bags of paper hands. Now, as a conclusion, we're gonna do a dog weekly recap. So over the past one week, we saw over a thousand new unique holders and wallets. That's pretty incredible. But over the past three months, we actually saw a total of over 7,000 wallets. Just think about that, that's pretty crazy. Then we've seen time and time again that this dog rune token has been the number one traded dog meme coin on gate.io, above Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Floki, Bonk, so forth, so on. And also is the number one traded rune like we talked about on Magic Eden. We also covered in yesterday's video, which I put a link on the upper right hand side, that Binance Research reporting on their July 2024 report shared that runes represented roughly 60% of Bitcoin's global transactions. That is absolutely insane. And then last but not least, we talked about the whale wallets that they're still accumulating in the net positive. So as as much as you're paying attention to the dog rune token, you're wondering why is the price been going to the upside compared to these other meme coins? Well, it's because it doesn't have many of these different centralized exchanges and also these AMM swaps to immediately swap your Bitcoin for it. There are so many obstacles preventing this token from going to the upside. But nonetheless, this market cap, no matter what, has been community driven. 
that's something that you do need to remember and also ground yourself. This is the foundation. The fact that it's held this specific market cap within the 370 to even 400 million is astounding. This token is not going anywhere. These centralized exchange listings, these AMM swaps are just one of many catalyst events. I think there's many more coming up. We just don't know what those are. So let me know your thoughts down below, your prediction of what's gonna happen with the price of DOG starting next week, or maybe even over the weekend. Are you hodling? Are you accumulating? Or are you just watching from the silence debating if you're actually gonna buy this token? Well, I look forward to reading those comments. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date, please like that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and trades regarding Dog Out of the Moon. Till then, see you guys girls next time.